Hi there, everyone. This is Jed Schlackman. I'm a holistic counselor and spiritual energy healer. And for this video, I'll be speaking about healing in the context of what I'll refer to as open source healing. Open source is a phrase that has often been used in the context of information technology and software, where an open source program would be a program where the creators of that content have not restricted its use, so they haven't created a commercial copyright. They're just offering it freely to the public and allowing other people to actually look at the source code. That's where the word source comes in there. And to even modify or further develop that source code for their own purposes or for further improvements to that software project. So they're choosing to not exercise control over that software or that creation they've developed. They're allowing others to use it freely. So it's coming from a mindset of sharing and furthering the greater good rather than developing something mainly for one's own commercial benefit. If we think about our society in general, we can see how many people are doing things primarily for a financial motive, whether it has to do with their business or vocation. It could be with investments they're making. And it could be something related to knowledge they're sharing as well. Now, another context where I recently saw this phrase of open source used was in the field of new energy technologies. Dr. Stephen Greer, who's involved in research of those types of technologies, as well as research of the UFO and extraterrestrial phenomena, was explaining how providing new technologies from an open source agenda or intention would be the ideal way to make it available rather than trying to patent or control those new developments or innovations, in which case the existing power structure has ways of intervening to take control over it and prevent its release or distribution to the public. So once something is open source, it's easier for anyone anywhere in the world to start to further develop and share it. So it would be harder to maintain or exercise control over some invention if it's been provided in an open source manner. Now, I would like to take this open source concept here into the realm of the healing arts. In the healthcare field, there are many products that are sold based on patents, based on someone exercising control over some sort of chemical compound, some form of technology or modality that could be used to assist someone for their health or healing. This includes even psychological and energetic healing methods. So someone could develop some type of therapy protocol and they could create some type of a trademark to that or some type of a copyright or patent that covers that particular method and the teaching of that particular method. So the person who has uncovered or discovered a particular technique will exercise that commercial control over it. As a result of this, it can limit the spread or sharing of that knowledge or understanding both in the professional community and to the general public. So if we want something to really spread and be accessed by the population more as a whole, it would be ideal to not attempt to exercise so much control over what you are sharing. 
as professionals in the healing arts, people of course expect to earn a living to support themselves with that endeavor. So they may charge for their time, for the effort and energy they've put into bringing these resources to the public. However, if you become overly focused upon your own recompensation or compensation for what you're creating and sharing, you may lose sight of the bigger picture of the reality that anything that could actually support and help people in their healing process in a sense already exists in a collective universal field of information or awareness. So you may have tuned into something or uncovered something, but in doing so you merely found something that really already exists in some manner on some level and really anyone else has the potential to access the same thing that you've accessed. So we just have this illusion that we as individuals have discovered or created something when ultimately there is one universal consciousness, one infinite energy and intelligence that we're just a tiny part or fragment of in a sense. And so we can choose to look at things from the individual ego-based mindset or from the awareness of oneness of our interconnection to all that exists with the desire to be of service to help other beings progress or evolve in their own development or awakening process. And so if we look at things more from that latter perspective, we won't be so attached to commercial interests, to our own personal fame or status in this human society. We'll see ourselves more as a channel or vessel for this divine intelligence or universal awareness to express itself to serve others in that regard. So personally, as a person working in the healing arts, I like to share information as freely as I can. You'll find many videos that I've produced which don't have any commercial basis to them. They're not um, videos that are there supported by advertisements. They're just given freely for anyone to watch and gain information or knowledge from. I also at times offer some free healing circles and services of that nature in my community, bringing an opportunity for people to discover or experience these things when they might not otherwise have an opportunity to do so within the commercial model of healthcare. For those that are really truly seeking to be healers, or to at least in a sense play that role in society, this is a topic that we want to be mindful of. We want to be conscious of how we are serving others or not serving others, of how we are addressing our own needs or not addressing our own needs and finding some sort of a healthy balance there, considering that we live and exist in a civilization that's very imbalanced, that has many distortions and dysfunctions in how things operate. And since we have to live and survive in a sense within that greater societal construct, it is often quite challenging to find that balance to bring ourselves into harmony with the flow of our own life essence, into harmony with that higher consciousness. We tend to adapt and adjust to the norms of the society, and those norms are often quite unhealthy or functioning in a way 
that doesn't serve the well-being of humanity. So we may at times have to challenge or go in contradiction to what people in society around us are doing, to what they are thinking, if we wish to evolve and function from a <coughs> state that reflects a higher level of awareness. For those that are interested in holistic health and spirituality, I invite you to view more of my videos, and you can also visit my website, which is phinsights.com, that's p-h-i-n-s-i-g-h-t-s dot c-o-m. For now, I would like to wish each of you a wonderful day. Namaste.